Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here from Physique Development. I'm here with Coach Alex and we're gonna go over the barbell deadlift, uh, the barbell conventional deadlift. So first things first, what we have to do is go through what our active range of motion would be for hip flexion. So basically how you do that is you'd step up to the bar just as you would with any deadlift. And then basically all Alex is going to do is start to drive those hips back into hip flexion, allow those arms just to hang out in front of you. And basically, what, what point can you get to in hip flexion before you have to sacrifice at the low back to grab the bar, basically? And so as we're working those hips back, you can see naturally that his arms aren't quite there. So if he were to grab the bar from the floor, he would have to sacrifice a little bit from that low back. Each individual is going to be a little different. Alex is set up fairly well for this but we can make it better. We can make it even better for him. Um, so what we're gonna do is basically I'm gonna have Alex set the bar up on these 35 pound plates. You can also use boxes. Those are really good as well. And so what this is going to do, if Alex just goes through that range of motion test one more time for us, you can see that he can very naturally grab the bar. Okay, so now we're gonna go over some execution cues. So when he's down there, what we're wanting to, have in place, we're gonna start from the head down. So with the head, you want that neutral spine. Uh, think about tucking the chin, but it doesn't have to be into flexion or over, over flexed. It can just be in a comfortable, stable position. Uh, and it's gonna kind of, as you come up, it's kind of, the gaze is gonna kind of follow um, with it. So the head position, create that neutral spine. Next is going to be that upper back. So we're gonna create stability. You'll commonly hear pack the lats. I don't know if that's as good of a cue as just creating tension, which is a, I think a slight retraction and a slight depression, not fully doing anything as much as just creating tension. Next is going to be creating stability through the abs, through the abs, so actually creating stability through the TVA there. And then from there, he's just focused on driving down through the floor, thinking about like leg pressing the floor away from him. And as he's on his way up, I'm gonna have him do one more rep for me. On the way up, if he's pressing down, driving down through the floor, those hips are gonna drive forward and extend and come right under through. A common mistake here that I just wanna to touch on is going to be, give Alex a break. Um, <laughs> if we pull the bar, so commonly you'll hear the deadlift called a pull movement. Uh, and I don't know if that's as representative of what it truly is, as much as it is just a push through the floor, drive through the floor movement. So um, if Alex were to pull the bar, he would then have to sacrifice at the spine and basically the hips are just at the mercy of what it's, what's going to happen with the back, low back, the erectors taking most of that load. So another common mistake that I just wanna mention as well is going to be the kink in the chain that is the neck and head position. So if Alex were to overextend and look up, he's sacrificing not only core stability, but also he's sacrificing that low back. And basically there are people that can get away with it, but I will say you are putting yourself in a very, very vulnerable position and that I don't think is worth it long-term. So create that neutral spine, stabilize the upper back, stabilize the core and drive through the floor. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in coaching, reading an article, or watching another video, check us out, physiquedevelopment.com.